All right, so part three of the uh, G-Land Bill series. This is probably the, <laughs> the, the hardest part or the longest part, and the most tedious, is the body. So you get this out of the box here. If you've seen the unboxing, there's nothing different here. Same thing. It's just I'm breaking it out in sections because it would have been too long of a video if I would have done it all at once. And here's the hard plastic body, the D90. <laughs> it's all stuck in there. All right, put that to the side. All our plastic parts, our deco sheets, and instruction manual. And inside here is where most of the bulk of the work is going to be. All the small, tedious plastic bits. But first things first, we're going to head out to the garage, we're going to spray the body, and we'll be back. All right, so body's been sprayed. We use the ultra flat. Give it that uh, well, flat look. I want the truck to be all blacked out ultimately other than the uh, the fancy chrome pieces. So here, I'm going to break out the grill from the uh, light lenses. And here I made a little bit of a mistake. I should have been uh, installing a uh, clear plastic lens in between this and the uh, light housing, but I did not. So I ended up popping it off after and uh, reinstalling it. I didn't notice till the build was almost done. I thought I was missing a lens, but it's because I didn't install it properly. But, all right, second lens, or second light, should I say, the housing. All I'm using there is some uh, thick CA. They say rubber cement, whatever's available. And the grill, I dry fit everything, a little bit of glue on the side, stick it back in. That way, when I do take it off, it shouldn't be uh, that tedious. All right, so here we have a uh, signal light lens. Both sides and the back. So we have at the top uh, two uh, red lenses, two of the smaller ones, two of the larger ones. Then we have two orange rect. Actually, this one here is like a dome light of some sort. And then the two other ones are two rectangle orange lights. I have to figure out how I'm going to be able to put LEDs in the back. The front's going to be easy, but there's no light buckets for the back. All right, so here we have uh, two grill pieces on each side of the hood. All right, one grill piece on the left side, of the, or sorry, right side of the body. And we have uh, a door handles. All right, and this is where I discovered that there's a lens for it. <laughs> All right, so now onto the mirrors. So one button head screw and a uh, washer. Secure that. Same thing on the opposite side. All right. <laughs> Drop the screw. Sorry about that. All right. So we install the wipers in the uh, front windshield. So the easiest way of doing this, I found, was to uh, push the top in first, and then the bottom will snap into place if you push. Once that's done, you have two screws on the in or three screws, should I say, on the inside to secure the uh, windshield. And the rest of those will be glued. All right, so dry fit, make sure everything's fine, and I'm going to glue from the inside. There's little pins that stick through the body. Those are the ones that I'll glue, so that way when I take it off, it shouldn't... Uh, cause any damage to the windows same thing on the opposite side alright we have the uh, sunroof alright we're good there and the two side windows here there are none for the uh, <laughs> driver and passenger door though alright finish up that one and now we're uh, ready for the rear so here we have a larger octagon, or not octagon, sorry, a <laughs> rectangle, and then two smaller uh, windows on the side of that. UFC tonight. I can't stop thinking of the octagon. <laughs> All right, so that one's done. A little bit of glue, and uh, we're, we're ready to go. All right, so now the interior build. Oh, almost forgot. <laughs> Gas cap. Get that done there. All right, so now for the interior. So the rear seats, you need to add a screw to keep them together. And then you push it back into the uh, plastic housing. 
all four of them. Pretty self-explanatory. I'm not going to be gluing these. I guess you could if you wanted it as a permanent fixture, but they, they fit pretty snugly. Front seats, same thing. They push down, and we have a shifter, the brake lever, door panels, two screws on each side to hold them together. All right, one more here. And now on to the console. So I'm going to mash the steering wheel into the column. One screw in the washer is going to hold that in place. All right. So put that in the interior. Two screws to hold the dash together. And then the rest of that is just going to get pressed up into it. I'm assuming you could glue it, but given that I'll be opening it up to add and change, need some drivers, I'm not going to do that. Just going to press it in. And maybe later build, I'll, uh, I'll glue it in place once I figure out what I want as an well, interior. But for now, for now, this is what the body's going to look like. I do want to add a roof rack and uh, rock sliders on the side. Uh, throw a tire on the back to, to finish up the look. But this was the build of the D90 Defender body. So guys, thanks for watching. Please thumbs up and subscribe.